how do we convince clients that want value based, but it's not something that we offer. So it sounds like what the question there is like, how do we convince them to pay us on time and materials? I, I think that that question may have also come up in the chat. Yeah, Matt says, yeah. So the way that I position this is the first sale is the methodology. And then if they can agree on the methodology, then it should be easy to have the conversation about why a pricing model is more conducive to that methodology. So I'll give you an example. If a client came to me and said, Marcel, we need you to help us build this new product for our startup, right? I run a software development firm, for example, and they say, we, we need to build a minimum viable product. Then I might say, okay, well, there's two ways to build software. The first is we use the waterfall method. That's how people built software 40 years ago, where we try to make a whole bunch of assumptions about everything that needs to be inside of this piece of software. We spend the next 12 months and all of your budget building that. And if we end up being wrong about any of those assumptions, the whole project fails. The other way to build software is this more modern approach called Agile, where we do a little bit of development, we test it, we learn, and we try to be very, very nimble and de-risk the execution as much as possible. Now, in order to do that, so that's the first thing. It's like, which method would you prefer to use? And of course, the client is going to say, well, I don't want to you know, give myself such a small target and fail. I think it's pretty easy generally to convince them that this more iterative approach is a better way to do it. And then once they agree to that, then it's a question of, okay, well, in order to do that model, we need to use a pricing model that allows us to work in that way. And so if we did a flat fee engagement, every time there was a change or new information, we'd have to open up the scope of work, bring up the SOW, renegotiate, find a new price. And that's really just going to get in the way of us being able to work effectively together. So what I propose instead is that we use one of these pricing models, right? Time materials or abstracted time materials so that we can just work in this way without all this friction that is unnecessary where we're fighting against the pricing model. 